can you tell us um, a, a story about Jesus that is important to you? It's the first miracle he performed when he turned the wine, the water to wine at Canaan, at the wedding at Canaan. And what is the importance in that story for you? I find it fascinating because of things that he said at that time. Um, he said to his mother when she told him the situation, he wasn't ready. He, he, he wasn't ready to start his ministry. And I find it interesting that even he had a time when he was ready to start his ministry and he didn't feel that that was yet the time even though he then went on to perform the miracle it, I just found it interesting and and what 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 would for you what would be the truth in the story I think the truth is that he showed us that we all get a call at some point to either follow God or follow him um, and he wasn't ready to ask people to follow him um, he had got a couple of disciples by that point as we read before the story but he hadn't gathered all his disciples and I think he wanted to get his ministry right before he started going out preaching and the time was just not there yet. And I think we all feel that at some point in our life that we're not ready to either accept or to go out and preach. And I think that's where I get it from, yeah. You say we all have that feeling and how is that for you personally? Um, I think I've always felt I believed in Christ or for a long long time uh, but as far as doing leadership things that came later on in life um, and I know that when as a lay person when I gave up my job to become on the provincial board I had to think hard because I was going from quite a, a high position to just being like everybody else um, and it wasn't just a monetary thing it was did I want to give up this high-powered job the job that I'd loved for so many years um, so I had to think about it and was I ready to do it and it come a lot later in life and yes I mean two years before I'd gone part-time which was halfway there in that I had to asked my employer for time off to do it part-time um, so I had started the process but when people asked me would I let my name go forward for full-time I think it's a, I think in a way it's a calling but not to preach in the same way as a minister would have the call and what was the calling to use my talents for the benefit of the church I felt that it was something I had I had something to give and I wanted to use the talents I'd learned, I'd had from experience over the years I'd worked in my profession and I think I thought that they could help the church. In the Bible there is written, the truth shall set you free. So now you have explained the truth, that's the calling and the readiness. Yeah. From what does this truth set you, set you free? From what? You are freed, but from what? Um, I think it's given me more joy in my heart in the sense that I was very stressful in the, in the position I was and somehow once I made that decision and then I was voted for it gave me a sense that people supported me um, and I felt a lot freer to do things that I felt were more important um, and I think helping other people, uh, be it not maybe in the preaching sense, but in, in ways I could help the church to help um, give support to the lay people within the congregations as a lay person, I think that that was important to help the committees that they were trying to do 
especially with all the administration problems and the laws that now become apparent. And I felt that was something that I was set free from the stress of my job and I could now help these people. And I, I really felt that was good. Help the church, help the committees, help yeah. these people. Could you also say, God is using me? Oh, God's definitely been good to me. Using you? He's used me. Uh, yes, he's definitely using me now, definitely. Because it, it was definitely a sense that um, I felt he wanted me to do it. So I think that's what he wants me to do. Yeah, he's using me in other ways than preaching to just help other people to come together as Christians.